You're in video 4. It's time to customize your website appearance with Joomla template. You can click to the available last chapter to see the video you've missed. Template determines the layout, colors, typefaces, graphics, and other aspects of design that make your site unique. There are two types of templates. Site template for front-end presentation. It changes the way your website looks to visitors. The second type is administrator template for back-end presentation. It changes the way the administrator interface looks. The easiest way to decorate your website is to start from existing Joomla template. You can find from some free template resources such as joomla24.com, bestofjoomla.com, blogtemplateforyou.com. If you can arrange some budget for a Joomla template, we strongly recommend you buy template from popular template providers such as Rocket Theme, Joomla Shine, Joomlart, etc. You can also search on Google Images with the keywords related to the kind of template you need. Or search simply on search engine and you will get about 120 million results. A lot of templates to choose from. So how to choose the right template for your site? Here are some criteria that can help you. Firstly, you should check the compatibility of Joomla template. Which Joomla version does it support? Does it fit with the version of your Joomla site? You better choose a latest Joomla version. For now, it's Joomla 2.5. Next, you must check the documentation for Joomla template. What kind of document they provide you? How well documented it is? Does it help you understand all the features it has or the ways to customize template? You also need to find ongoing support for the template. What ways will you get support? The template with great support will save you much time on template customization. For a newbie, a template with many features is recommended. Professional templates provide many features for each template. You have to check all the features that template offer you to see if it's really suitable for you. You should choose the lightweight optimized template to make your site run faster. The template must be compatible with major browsers so every visitor can easily access it. After feature checking, you need to look at the design of template. Normally, all templates are provided with live demos. You should view live demos to know how the template will present in the real site. If the Joomla template is similar to your desired design, you won't have to spend much time to customize it. Make sure it matches the look and feel that you want for your site. If you love the template, it's time to get it. If you are an individual or an ordinary user, a free template will be a suitable choice for you. However, if you are creating a business website, it's absolutely worth it to spend on a commercial template. Commercial templates have higher quality, more comprehensive documentation, and better support than non-commercial. Consider to choose the template that suits you best, and next step we will add Joomla template to your site. In the back end area, go to Extensions, Extension Manager. Click the button to choose the file. Find the template file you have downloaded. Then click on the button Upload and Install. You should get a notification informs that the template has been installed successfully. Go to Extensions, then click Template Manager. Here is the page to contain all the Joomla template you installed. You can see the name and the location of each template. To make your new Joomla template apply to your site, you must set it as default. Click the star button in the line of your template. Now you can view your site to see the differences at the front end. Refresh the old site to see the new change. The template is applied to your site. All the preview and information about templates you can find in Template Manager page at back end. Go to the Templates tab nearby the Styles tab. Here you can see the image preview, the version and other information of each template. So, we finished Joomla template installation. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we will continue to arrange modules in positions.